Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Coinbase and more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you confirm your info on Coinbase? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a quick video. There's not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to confirm your info on Coinbase? Well, that's pretty easy. From time to time, you do get a pop-up or an email warning from Coinbase saying that they are required to confirm your info. And if you do not confirm your info, then your account could be restricted. Whatever the case is, it's actually a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the Coinbase app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Coinbase app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Coinbase account. This is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, if you'd like to confirm your info and you've received a pop-up or an email from Coinbase, you should see this box right here, confirm your info. And as you can see, they say they are required to periodically confirm my info and then they give me the date that I need to confirm my account before it is restricted. So to confirm your info on Coinbase, just click on this button here, confirm your info. Okay guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, the screen's gonna pop up and it shows all of the information that you registered with Coinbase. And in order to verify your information on Coinbase, what you wanna do is scroll through until you find anything that is written in red. So as you can see, this top line right here says that my document has been expired. So I do need to verify my identity. Everything else is marked in green. So if it's marked in green, just look through it, make sure it's still current. If so, don't worry about it. But for me, I'm going to click on this verify identity button. Okay, next the screen pops up and it shows my name and my date of birth and my social security number, the last four digits. So you wanna look through there, verify it, make sure it is correct. If there's anything missing, go ahead and fill it out. So for example, my social security number is missing here. So I'm going to fill that out off screen. Okay, I went ahead and filled that in. And next you wanna scroll down until you get to this section here called continue. It's a blue button. Next, they are asking for my physical address. So I'm going to enter that in off screen. Okay, I went ahead and entered in all the required information. I'm going to click on continue. Okay, next Coinbase is letting me know they do need to verify my identification. And then they give the reason why they are required to check that. So I'm going to click on continue. Next, you can choose between your driver's license or your ID card. I'm going to choose one now. Next, Coinbase is asking me to take a picture of my identification. So I'm going to do that off screen. Okay, I went ahead and took a picture. They're asking if the picture looks clear and is easily read. So I'm going to click on yes, looks good. Next, they're asking me to take a picture of the backside of my identification. So I'm going to do that off screen. Okay, once again, Coinbase is asking me to verify the information that I have on file. For me, it all looks good. So I'm going to click on yes, looks good. Next, I get this pop-up saying thanks for confirming your info. So I'm going to click on done. Okay, and just a quick second later, it brings me back here to my assets screen, shows all of the cryptocurrency that I hold with Coinbase. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to verify your identity, identity on Coinbase. That's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.